Well, I'm just letting all the cabin cruisers get by. <laughs> There's about eight or nine of them in a row before I try to make it across the channel. Let their waves get on by. But uh, I'm headed over to the creek for the first check of the 2020, 2020, I mean 2021, 2022 season. Here comes the cabin cruiser, cruiser waves. I hate them big ugly things. But uh, as soon as they get through, I'll duck and run, get across the channel before any more come through. It's an all day parade around here of these boats. I'll see you when I get down the creek. Well, I have got to my first trap. Set for a mink. Got a coon. <laughs> I'll get out and get him. Get the trap reset and all here in a minute and load him up and I'll show him to you. But the 120 did a did its job. Coon didn't even hardly move. It's just laid up on top of the box. Uh, we'll see how big he is when I get up to him in a minute. I'll get him out and I'll show him to you. Well, I do have catch number one in the boat. I've remade the set up there. It's hard getting back in the boat in this swamp mud. But, uh, Sal Coon. I know she's going to be blue as a crayon, but it's catch number one of the year. Wasn't the targeted species. But we'll take it home. See what we can do with it. I got a feeling that's the way the day's going to be. First trap, coon. Let's see how the rest of them go. We'll move on down. Well, no visitors in box number two. Bait's still up in the box. I can see it. Right there's the box. And <laughs> I'm going to keep moving down. Maybe we got another catch somewhere. Hopefully one of the species I'm after, but not so much on the coon. I'm going to keep moving down. Well, I got to the third set, and the trap's not where I put it. <laughs> I'm going to get back here and pull up the drowner stake here in a minute, but the ground is tore up pretty good. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I can't tell just by looking at the tracks, but the tracks look fairly wide. If that's, a, if that's another coon, it's a big one. But, uh, Hopefully, whatever I got is at the bottom of the drowner. We'll find out in a minute. What we have is a toenail caught beaver and left the toenail in the trap. I'm going to get it reset, put it back in place. So we've got an educated beaver now. <laughs> Pretty good sized toenail. I'm gonna re get, re, uh, remake the set and move on down. Shucks. <laughs> well, see you down the line. Well, no catches in the cubby set up on the sandbar. But it's not exactly turned the same way it was as I put it. <laughs> so we've had a visitor of some kind coming in here poking around. Maybe he'll come back tonight. I'm gonna keep moving down. Well, something had come in here and taken the bait and splashed a good bit of water up on the sand, but didn't set the trap off. I rebaited it, rebedded the trap back where it, you know, moved it just a little. But the sign that I see appears to have been a raccoon. But uh, <laughs> we'll see if he comes back tomorrow. Or tonight, he'll be here. Gonna move on down, check the rest of the sets. I only got a few out down this creek just to get a, a sample of the primeness of the pelts. If it's anything like that sow cone, it's gonna be a long time before that one's prime. Or <laughs> it's just not gonna be there. Not for probably deep you know, up until December, probably. But I'm going to check the rest of the sets and keep moving. 
with no takers on this set. <coughs> I had high hopes for it. But uh they were here. I'm gonna try to get the canoe pushed up here a little bit. You can see what I see. They may not have or they may have climbed over it. There's a lot of fresh white sand on the on the pipe. You can see footprints. Uh, it may take a day or two, but this one's gonna hit, I think. Gonna this is my turnaround spot. I'm gonna head back down the other way, check the other see it's on this side of the creek. And we'll see what we do. See you in a minute. I got down to the next pocket set that I put in. That's the one that I beat that PVC pipe in. Where I had the fresher otter sign above me. The trap's not where I put it. I'm going to pull in the drowner cable and see if we got anything. But that one and a half's missing. I'll see you in a minute. And pull it up. Well, this one's a nice boar coon. He's furred up a lot better. A lot better than that sow. It's a front foot catch on that one and a half. He's out here on my drowner. There's the boar. There's the sow. I'm going to get him out of the trap. Get it rebated, reset, and move on down. Two catches. Had had catch number three pulled out on a toenail on a beaver, but I'll get this and reset, and we'll keep going down. I'm gonna put in a little beaver set right here on a chain drowner with a hags bracket, and let it run down the chain. Since I missed that beaver yesterday, I bet I can pick him up right here. With the way the wind's blowing this way out across the creek and he's already started a caster mound right here i've taken some of trapper jay's lure and just put it on here to piss them off there should be a beaver here tomorrow but we'll find out we'll run this stake out in the deep water and take it off we're gonna move on down well nothing in the 220 set on the Hot trail coming out. It'll stay here another day or two. Then I'll get the beaver gear ready to move up and have some real fun. <laughs> I'm headed back to the boat ramp. That's the end of the day's fun. <laughs> See you later.